In this video, we're going to look at how to create native looking mobile UIs. Start by ensuring that you've got Mob GUI installed. You can get a trial version of that from mobgui.com. It goes into your Live Code Plugins folder. If you need help installing a plugin, you can find help on our Lessons Portal. URLs to both the trial version of MobGUI and our Lessons Portal are available on the page that accompanies this video. Once you've got that installed, reload Live Code, create a new main stack and load the plugin from the Plugins menu. With MobGUI, you need to install the library code before you get started, so we'll just do that. And then you can drag out the user interface elements you might want to use. I'll drag out a few iOS ones so that you get an idea of what's available. You can right click on this menu to pull down some of the other options. We've also got native iOS controls, including a web browser object and the actual OS native text field. And there are Android controls as well. I'm going to create a new project and just show you how to use MobGUI to create a simple application. I'm going to create what would be an about screen for an application. So if I go ahead and call this about, I'm going to create a web browser object. And I want this browser object to display the company web page. Just put that URL in and create a button which allows us to navigate to the company section of the website. Set the URL of group browser to go over to the company page. Just make sure that I've named that object to be browser and then clone that object and call this one about support. Apply that there. I'm now going to try and test this on the iOS simulator. In order to do this, I need to ensure that I have the Apple developer tool set up and I just turn on iOS, the standalone builder, and then press the test button. That'll load up my simulator, which should show my application running on iOS and loading up the company page. And if I click on this button after a second or so, it loads up and that's a perfectly functioning iOS application. Notice how MobGUI scales everything correctly for Retina. However, for Landscape, I have to do a little bit of work. So I go ahead and select Landscape and then make some changes to these interface elements so that they fit. It's going to grab those buttons and move them up with Shift Arrow. And then just select that those orientations are allowed. If I run this in the simulator again, what I find is that I am now able to rotate left and my display rotates exactly as I would expect.